Language isolates are languages that aren't related to any other language we know of. Yes, obviously, if you go back far enough in history, it's got to be related to something, but at this point, it's so far back in time that it's just lost to history. We'll never really know. The most famous example of a language isolate is Basque, spoken in Northeast Spain by about 750,000 speakers. Basque is a pre-Indo-European language, which means that it's part of the cultures that were in Europe before the Indo-European languages moved into Europe. So it was there before the Celtic languages, the Germanic languages, before Latin. Another famous language isolate is Ainu, spoken in the Hokkaido island of northern Japan. Today, there's unfortunately only a handful of elderly speakers left of Ainu. The Sendawe language of East Africa is another isolate. It's one of a handful of click languages left in East Africa. Most of the click languages are in South Africa, so this is a pretty rare language. There's less than 100,000 speakers of this language left, and it's a holdover from a time before the Bantu languages and the Nilotic languages spread to take over all of Sub-Saharan Africa. There are also also a ton of language isolates in the Americas. Chirimacha, spoken in Louisiana, Huave, spoken in Mexico, Tamuqua, which used to be spoken in Florida, and many, many more. Linguists are really interested in studying language isolates because they often give us insights into what the linguistic landscape looked like before other larger families moved into the area. For example, it's pretty likely that most of Sub-Saharan Africa consisted of click languages before the Bantu languages spread. So the only remaining click languages are the last remnants of that early earlier stage of linguistic history. These isolates also tend to contain features or combinations of features that are pretty unique or at least unusual in many other languages. So if we lose these languages, we lose important insights into how language works and the diversity of language. If you want to learn more about the world's languages, give me a follow.